Hello, it's Richard here, and we're looking at a dock for the GPD Pocket. This is a Kensington SD4600P, which is a nice four-feature dock, having three Type A ports, a HDMI port, Display port, and another USB Type C port, which you can use with a, say, a USB C to A adapter if you want to expand out to have more Type A ports. It also has an onboard sound card, which is a bit unreliable. I'll get onto that in a bit and it comes with its own power supply which is pretty good. So uh, with the pocket this actually works pretty well which is why I'm doing a video on it. So if we go ahead and plug it in here we'll see that uh, we will get working USB data and if we take a look on our monitor that we're getting nice video display out and finally we are charging so Windows thinks we're charging it actually says we're 100% fully charged which is a bit of a quirk of using a dock it doesn't always happen and yeah so works really well with the pocket it will charge the pocket at 12 volts uh, it's saying 0.5 amps at the moment because the pocket is fully charged but this will put a decent amount of current out about 1.5 amps at this 11.9 uh, volts should uh, the pocket be low on charge. Uh, another really nice feature of this dock is that it will simultaneously work with two 1080p displays even on the pocket. I've tested this, it does work. Uh, another nice feature of this dock is that you can run a 2560 by 1440 display at 60Hz, which is pretty unusual. Most of the Type-C to HDMI adapters don't work. This leads me to believe that you may even be able to run 4K at 60Hz, but don't take my word for it. I know the dock supports it, but I don't know if the pocket supports it, and unfortunately I can't test that. But I can confirm it does work at 2560 over 1440 at 60Hz. So if you have one of those displays, monogon a single cable docking solution for your pocket, great choice. The only downside for this unit really is the onboard sound card has issues with the pocket. So... You can be using it and listening to music and then the dock will just crash, the video output will stop and the pocket will disconnect. And until you turn the dock off and turn it on again and plug it in again, it won't work. However, you can use HDMI audio with no issue and you can use a USB sound card again with no issue. So a bit frustrating, probably a driver issue, but you know, you get video out, you get charging, you get USB data which works every time you unplug and replug. Um, you can get these on Amazon warehouse deals for around 40 to 50 pounds. Sometimes if you can pick one up for that price, it's great. Full price around 100 pounds. It depends how much single cable docking is important to you because you can use two, three cables and get, um, you know, 2560144 at 60 hertz, charging and USB data, but that's a lot messier. Um, we'd be much happier using one cable, making use of the Type-C port and getting wonderful high-res video out and all your USB devices connected. Another downside of this dock, however, is this isn't the cable it comes with. This is the Thunderbolt 3 cable, which I like to use when filming these things because it's just very reliable. They're high-quality cables. Um, the cable it comes with is incredibly short. And the positive of the unit is that the USB-C port to the host goes at the back, which is great for using it as a tidy dock, but the cable it comes with is maybe about that long, which is useless. So you will have to budget for a longer Type-C cable if you really want to make the use out of this dock. But as I say, I've tested it with even a Type-C to A hub, and that works really well for adding more USB Type-A ports to the unit if you want to use them. So yeah another really nice unit for using with your pocket and yeah so if you can get one for 50 quid amazing buy for your pocket for 100 quid depends how much it's worth it anyway thanks for watching hope you're well and i'll see you soon